Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my designer dupes collections, like those ones. I will leave a link in the description below for each item I mentioned in this video if they are still available. This video is just for entertaining purpose. I'm not telling you that you just go ahead and buy designer dupes or fake products. I'm just saying that not everyone can afford designer products and the dupe is a great alternative in these situations. And at the end of this video, I'm going to teach you a way to find your own designer dupes by yourself. So let's get into it. Okay, the first item I want to show you today is actually this belt. This belt, uh, I think the original design for this belt is come from a brand called BV, and the price for the designer product is like uh, over a thousand bucks, which I think is crazy. I got this one in the white color one. This is a designer dupe, so it doesn't have any logo or any brand name with it. It's basically like a generic brand, and I think this one is very well made. As you can see the detail for this belt, uh, I purchased this one in the white color but this one also comes with black color, brown color one. The material for this belt is 100% leather. I think it is really really well made and it's very durable. And the price of this belt is around 50 bucks. I don't remember uh, exactly. And uh, to be honest, I don't uh, get a lot of wear of this belt. Uh, there are two reasons. The first one, because the color, I chose a white color. So the color of this belt is really, really stand out, especially in the winter season right now. And the second reason that I don't get a lot of wear is because this belt is really, really big, you see, compared to my face. So it's just a really loud and really stand out belt that I don't have a situation that I need to dress up enough to pair with this belt. But overall, I'm just really impressed about the design, the quality of this belt, and of course the price of this belt. And in my opinion, it is a great quality, a good designer dupes. And the second item of this video is this Gucci loafer dupe here. Sorry, it is a little bit dirty right now because I have been wearing it for the past summer season and I really love to wear it. And from my personal experience, I can assure you that I really enjoy wearing these shoes. And this one is just uh, under a generic brand. It doesn't have any logo or anything with these shoes. And the biggest difference from this one to the real Gucci loafer, I think the first, uh, the outsole of this one is actually not real leather. I remember the Gucci loafer, it is 100% leather for the outsole but this one is just plastic and rubbery material but actually I prefer this kind of material even more than the leather sole because if this is a leather sole I couldn't wear it in the rainy days I'm going to ruin the shoes in that way but because this one is a rubber sole I'm just don't need to worry about the weather situation and it is really easy to take care of and how much I pay for it don't remember but I think I paid for uh, about 60 bucks which I think is a great price I already wear it for the past summer season I think I'm still going to enjoy wearing it in the summer of 2020. I think the purchase link for this shoes particularly is uh, no longer available. I'm going to try to find a very similar alternative for you guys. And the third one in this video is this shoes from The Row. I'm sure you guys already see these shoes on the street, in Instagram. It's such a popular shoes for the past couple of years. But as I say in my other videos, like the 20 pieces come and go, maybe you don't want to spend your hard earned money on a real product which will cost many 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 hundred dollars and for this shoe actually I am surprised this one is not under Jennifer brand it actually have the original brand on the outsole it says the row made in Italy and the material for the bottom of these shoes is actually made of 100% leather. That is why it leaves a very ugly marks on the bottom of the sole after I walk it in a rainy days. I love these shoes more than I expected. Even though it's a really standard shoes, but it just pairs really, really gorgeous with uh, street leg jeans. And that is why I like it so much. And it is also very comfortable because I can just tie the shoe lace like very tight and then it fits like a glove. And this shoe is made of real leather here. Here, real leather here and even the real leather here so in just uh, overall very good quality and well-made shoes I believe I paid around 50 bucks for these shoes but unfortunately I 
this shoe is no longer available from the link that I purchased from because I purchased these shoes about two to three years ago. It is no longer available. The next item is another designer dupe from the Rode brand. I think the design of this shoe just speaks for itself. Everybody knows these shoes. It just conquered the Instagram this summer. Every blogger is wearing this one and they love this one. I believe Zara also come out uh, designer dupes for this design as well. I really like the design of these shoes, but I'm just not sure that I wanted to spend hundreds of bucks to buy your designer sandals. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for these sandals, but I think it's probably around 50 to 60 bucks. It is made of uh, great quality materials. It is made of 100% leather, I think. I'm not sure whether the sole, the outsole of this uh, sandal is also 100% leather but yeah, actually it's a very good looking shoes but actually for me this one is not a very very practical shoes because it's just not comfortable for me to wear it every day as you can see the heel is super super high but another reason is because the straps of the shoes is so so skinny and it's really digging to my toe fingers and it hurts so much when I wear it and sometimes I feel even for the designer jeeps you need to think about how practical they are even though the designer jeeps are super super cheap compared to the original price but 50 bucks is still money like if you're gonna buy a shoe like me that I spent 50 bucks on this shoe but I don't get a lot of wear out of it it just like I throw away my 50 bucks but it just doesn't worth it at the end of the day and at the end of the day it's nice to purchase something that you think they are gorgeous looking but also you can wear them every single day so yeah but of course it is my personal opinion okay the last not least I think I should include a designer dupe bag in this video I know a lot of you guys love designer bags personally speaking I'm not a designer bag person I just don't enjoy wearing a designer bag even for designer bag dupes so I purchased this one like three years ago I think I probably paid about 50 bucks for this bag it is uh, inspired by brand Chanel I purchased this one this one is made of 100% lamp leather I think they also sell 100% caviar leather as I mentioned before that I have been purchased this one for three years for now but it is definitely very very good quality after three years and it is definitely a uh, solid made materials and uh, the chain everything is just great and I think a lot of you guys may enjoy it okay the rest of the video I'm gonna teach you how to find the designer dupes by yourself Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time. Bye!